Oh, thank you very much to my very cheesy fake studio audience. Again, they're so supportive. Listen, welcome to another episode. This is Creative Suite episode 24. And this week, we are tackling Photoshop CS3. I'm going to show you the brand new 3D capabilities. We're going to use a demo that Adobe have supplied me with. And then we're going to try one of our own just to see if it really does work. And I can assure you, it really does work. It's fantastic. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit excited. Look, coming up, I've got a few things that I'm speaking at. There's a form and function exhibition in Melbourne, and then there's Printex uh, coming up in Sydney in a month's time, around about a month's time. So if you're watching the show, you want to come along and say hello, please, I'll be at the Adobe stand. Please come and introduce yourself. I would love to meet you. I'd also like to say a big hello to all of our audience around the world. I've just been looking, we've got people in the States, in Canada, in Ireland, in Great Britain, in Dubai, uh, all around the world, Switzerland, uh, in the Netherlands, and fantastic. So a big shout out to everyone watching all around the world. It's been uh, great to see you guys logging in and uh, giving me a few comments and feedback. I really appreciate it. Okay. So here's the tip. Uh, if you have any feedback for me, get onto my website and uh, put some feedback there for me. If you don't like my fake studio, studio audience, well, bad luck. Oh, and about my website, I've been tooling around with Dreamweaver a bit lately. So it's been up, it's been down, there's been errors. Okay, so help me out. Uh, and I've changed my feed earl. I stuffed it up royally, the feed in... Um, in the iTunes. So I'm in the process of taking it down and re re putting it again. But you can still subscribe through my website, I guess, if you're seeing this and you've already done that. So there'll be a new feed on the iTunes music store. So please let as many people know about this uh, podcast as possible. I'd love to see everyone uh, joining in the fun. Enjoy the tip. <laughs> well, I hope you've taken your medication because Photoshop is just about to blow your mind. Photoshop is unbelievable. Now, thanks to Adobe, I'm using one of the Adobe demo assets. This is something you use when you uh, are presenting for Adobe. It's part of the Aquo thing. You might have seen it already if you've tuned into any of the launch stuff on CS3. And we have a 3D can. Let's have a look at the layers and a 3D uh, object is displayed uh, with this little symbol in the bottom corner there. So we know it's a 3D object. And when we double click it, we can actually rotate stuff in Photoshop now out of control. Have a look at that. There's a bunch of stuff we can do. Uh, we can do different views up here. We can even change the lighting settings. So there's some different lighting settings here that we can change. A whole bunch of really cool stuff. And just like any transformation, it's going to ask us, do we want to cancel or apply it? Let's cancel it uh, for the time being. Um, and we'll switch. We'll say, don't transform. Put it back to normal. I'm missing my little cancel and commit buttons up the, up the top here. Okay. So what can we do with this? Well, it has some textures applied to it. We want to put a label on this. So you can see there's some textures here. If I double click this, here is the texture that's applied to the shape. And Adobe, bless their little cotton socks, have put in a label for us already. It's a smart object. So we close this smart object and press save. And voila, there it is there. And if we'd like to see what's on the back, rotate it around. Ha <laughs> ha, sickness. So I'm going to undo that. Uh, I'll just press escape because we don't want to do that. Let's see if we can put our own one on there. Now, I've just discovered this little shortcut to toggle between open documents in Photoshop, CS3, Apple Shift, or I suppose Control Shift, tilde will go to another open document. So we can switch backwards and forwards between them. Okay, we can also go and browse and open uh, up files, of course. There's our, our browser. And I can just go over here and I'm going to go to my desktop. And I think I have a little file here somewhere or another. 
where are you amongst all my other uh, bit, bits and pieces ah this one here let's select this copy it it's the creative suite tv apple option tilde option apple shift tilde sorry and now we double click texture 2 we'll hide that and we'll paste a new but awesome layer on move it into the center a bit there we'll close this press save oh my god creative suite can go to our layers again we'll double click this and let's see if we can see around the back rotate it around oh baby that is right where I want it. I wonder what that would taste like. Anyway, we have a Creative Suite TV can there. It couldn't get any better. Well, yes, it could. How do we get the 3D object in here? I bet you're all asking. Well, there's a few different formats that you can use if you're a, if you're a 3D dude, 3DS, uh, 3D Studio Max files. There's a whole bunch of them. I'm sure it's available online. Let's give it a test. Now I'm just going to switch over uh, to our other document which we have open, this one here, using my little shortcut there. We're going to open a 3D file straight into Photoshop. Now I've got one sitting out here, courtesy uh, of a friend of mine. This is a, there's the can. U3D is one of the formats. Okay, but I've got one here, and what are we calling it? It's a 3DS file, 3D Studio Max appears at the bottom. It's a Ferrari. How big do we want it? Oh, let's do it 800 by 800 pixels. And it's going to open it up. I just want to show you that you can actually, this is the sort of thing I do, testing files so that there's our Ferrari. Let's just hide this window by clicking this bottom thing. Let's bring it over now into this file. We want to change color space. That's perfectly okay. We'll go back into full screen. We'll just hide our layer there. And there is our Ferrari. Okay. Let's see if we can put it on the road. Layers. Double click. Grab the rotate thing. Oh my God. This is off a uh, almost what you would call a stock photo, uh, like a stock photo library. Uh, however, this is off a stock 3D uh, shapes library. I just thought I'd give it a bit of a, a test. My good buddy Wayne Rankin has lent this to me just to do a bit of testing with and I think it's pretty wicked. Let's see if we can slide this back a little bit with this slide it back a little bit tool and we just go ahead and move it over. God, I'm just having fun now aren't I? We'll put that on the road. Unbelievable and then we can change the lighting. We do a whole bunch of stuff uh, we'll hit apply and there we have a Ferrari on the road and of course we could put a shadow underneath it if we wanted to we'll just go ahead and put this in multiply hey we'll do quick and nasty little shadow very quick and nasty little shadow just underneath we'll just blacken that out oh perhaps it should go underneath put a little shadow under there a little bit at the front there beautiful hide him over there a bit too very nice. And there we have a Ferrari on our road. We changed the lighting to a whole bunch of different stuff. 3D stuff into Photoshop is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Well, I love doing that tip, actually. That was a lot of fun. Incidentally, again, brought to you by Peach Pit Press, Peach Pit TV, actually, Peach Pit Commons. Uh, dot com if you're interested in having a look at that we're going to do a real quick finish today because that was an extra long tip okay so thanks again for tuning in and have a look at my events my training pages on my website because uh, I've, I'll be speaking at a few things with the uh, new CS3 stuff coming up soon so please keep your eye out on that and we will see you next week with a super terrific episode I am Mark. Awesome!